Thanks for tuning in guys. In this tutorial, I will show you how to easily animate your text in your videos, all within Final Cut Pro 10. I will also show you how I animated my name at the end of my intro, because I know a lot of you have been asking me about it. If you like this type of tutorial, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notified every time I post a new video. Now here are some really, really easy ones for you guys to try out and play around with. First create a text layer by going to titles and dragging basic title to your project timeline. Type in your text, change the font style, size and whatever else you want. Now under the effects tab, there are a few effects that you can just throw on and animate your text with. The first one I like is called Bad TV. Search for it and drag it on top of your text. Now play around with that mount in the inspector sidebar until you're happy with the outcome. Earthquake is another one that I like to use. Underwater as well. Again, play around with the settings for each effect you add on. The flicker effect is another pretty cool animation that you can easily create. Once you have your text placed and font picked out, press B on your keyboard and use the blade tool to cut the text every frame. I would cut it about 10 to 20 times. Then switch back to the select tool by pressing A and select plus delete every other frame. You can enhance this animation by adding a sound effect like flickering electricity and cutting it at the same parts that you did your text. It should look something like this afterwards. And now my glitching intro effect. First I created a basic title. Wrote my first name, changed the font style and size, clicked on the transform tab and placed it towards the left side of the screen. Next I copied the same title, pasted it on top, then changed it to my last name. I then clicked on the transform tab and moved it beside my first name. Shorten it to about a second long. I then copied that text and pasted it beside it. This is where I wanted to glitch and switch names. I extended that second text bar to how long I want the name Primetime to show up for. Now copy the first text you created for your last name and paste it at the end. For the next step, you're going to need some kind of glitch transition. Ryan Nangle has some really great ones that I use for some of my videos. If you don't like what he has on there, just do a search on YouTube and you will find a bunch of other creators offering different types of glitch effects. Once you have that downloaded, place it in between all three text bars at the top and adjust it to how long you want it to last. The last step is to add earthquake effect to all the texts. Under the effects tab, search for earthquake and drag it on top of each one. Add a glitch sound effect during the parts where it glitches to make it pop out even more. Now it should look something like this. I'd love to see what you guys come up with, so make sure to leave a link in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to check them all out. Huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. As a lot of you already know, I'm using Squarespace to spice up my website. So as soon as I'm done fixing it up, I'll definitely make sure to show all you guys. The process has been really easy so far since Squarespace provides me with a ton of beautiful templates that I can use for my website. It's definitely an awesome all-in-one website building platform since they make it so easy to use that anyone can create their own website. Try it out for free, the link is in the description down below and whenever you're ready to show the world what you created, make sure to use my promo code Brian Francisco to get 10% off your first purchase. Oh, yeah.